guys, this is Blair with Mosh Paint. I am here with Jason with Bring the Beat Back. We are working on our Mosh Paint Artist Collab, episode number two. Pretty excited to show you guys some stuff here. I uh, just want to start off by letting you uh, get to know a little bit more about us and what we do as far as our companies go. So today, uh, with our artist collaboration, we're working to raise a little bit of money to help out with uh, Bring the Beat Back. And Jason here is going to kind of explain here a little bit more what that all entails and what we're, what we're kind of doing. So kind of give them an, uh, an idea of your organization and where you're trying to get it to kind of thing. So basically this all started about a year ago when uh, I started getting into some drum restorations. And uh, from that, uh, doing the history, doing the research on the history of the drums, uh, and then trying to get it back to period specific as close as I could to period specific was something I really enjoyed doing. Sure. Um, I'm also an educator, so I've worked with children my my entire professional career. Okay. And so um, I am a musician on top of that. So merging all those passions together, uh, it, it just it just seemed to kind of all meld together. Where sure being able to support students uh, with music and and also restoring used instruments as a way to. Uh, provide them with that instrument that you could use. Right, right. So you you restore these instruments as far as in particular drums, but you will do other things if it, there's a demand. But as of now, drums seems to be the the main consensus here. But all right, so you get donated parts or you purchase parts and pieces. Mm -hmm. What's the next step from there? Once we get a kit together, a fully functioning kit, what we do is we identify the person to make the donation to, okay. um, and then we deliver it to them, set it up for them, and then they have that there to, to play and to enjoy. Okay, and is this for for kids that can't afford music or equipment, or is this, like, what's your selection process when you when you find that, that candidate that deserves this? What, what makes you feel that they deserve this and you you know it's gonna do something for them and they will appreciate it kind of thing. What what I envision is being able to support that that student, I call them students because again I'm an educator. Fair. Support that student who is in need and just wants to have that passion to play. Sure. So as far as an age restriction, we haven't really put an age restriction on it. I don't think I you need to. I want to be able to uh, support anyone and everyone I can. Right. The latest donation went to an adult, 21 year old, who uh, was uh, experiencing her third round of cancer. And so she had a passion for playing, but didn't have the means to, to actually purchase a kit. So um, through some contacts in a, a local Facebook group here, we were able to identify her as, a, as someone to make this donation to, and uh, okay. we were able to get that to her. So yeah, no, so there's not, there, not to call it a selection process, but you, it is something that obviously is deserving and can, can show uh, obviously a lot of compassion and thankfulness for, for what you do. I, I think that's really cool. So. You know, any guys, any drummers out there, this is a forever ongoing donation thing. If you have heads, hardware, broken cymbals, even broken drum parts comes to play here because we can take screws and nuts and bolts off of it mm -hmm. to help them out here. So any drummers out there, we will accept donations all day, every day, and we will come to you. So keep that in mind, guys, as you're going through, reheading your stuff, getting new, new equipment. It helps a lot of other people other than going to your guitar center and get 20 bucks for it you know that, that's just nothing you know we all know that so I think it's I think it's really cool it's really it's really cool that we can you know have that ability to not only give back but the passion of music behind it and then Definitely. I can kick it now and we can push art behind it too and there's just there's multiple layers of this giving back that it's not just the fact that we give back we want to better our community and give everyone that has the passion or will to do stuff like this, the mm -hmm. tools to do it. You know, I think that's so cool and let them blossom into their own whatever they want it to be. So today, as far as our artist collaboration, what we've done for you guys is we got a bunch of donated heads from multiple drummers in the Valley. Thank you very much if you were a part of that. We really, really appreciate that. Uh, right now we have about 20 painted heads, I would say that we did today, all in different sizes, anywhere from eight inches to 24 inches. Long story short, we have a multitude of these drum heads that we are going to sell to anybody that is willing and all donations will go right back to Jason and bring the beat back. From there, he has a little bit of a fun to go get that last part to finish that, just that entire set. That those little nicks and things that aren't getting donated that would just be coming right out of his pocket and he would do it and he has been doing it. But let's kick back, let's 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 help him out. Let's you know, let's be a community here and show some support and um, every dollar that goes towards this 
just imagine that kid 10 years later playing drums and having a different outlook on art and life even, you know? As far as the heads go, we are going to price those out per sizing, if you will. All of them are different in color, different color schemes, different multitudes on that end. Uh, obviously, whatever appeals to you, we would really appreciate any purchase. We are also going to open up an open donation. So if you want to throw a couple bucks at it, get it, you think the cause is cool, we really appreciate that as well. So I have some questions for you okay. about mosh paint, um, about you as a drummer. Okay. Uh, and uh, as drummers, yeah, you and I both know there's the art of being a drummer, there's a science of being a drummer. Absolutely. Obviously science is your timing, science is uh, keeping the tempo, keeping the beat, finding one after Phil. Um, but I want to learn a little bit more about the art side and, and how you see your experience as an artist, um, a visual artist, affects what you do behind the kit and what you do behind the kit and how that might inspire you as a visual artist. I think as far as drumming goes, you have to be somewhat creative. I, I you know, as far as to just get, be, separate yourself from the pack, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. be, be a little creative to, to try little things, be a little different. And I, I think I have that gene, if you will call it. I like to be creative. I like, you know, the art side of everything. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> mosh pen itself really only started about a year, year and a half ago. I had passion for art in high school, but I didn't really take it anywhere. Uh, other things came along and, mm -hmm. and it just dwindled away kind of thing. But uh, been about a year and a half now and we started painting here at the house, me and my girlfriend did, and it was just a good fun hobby. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> more or less uh, friends started to see the paintings and what we've done and they're asking me like, how much is this? Is this for sale? Why aren't you selling your stuff? Blah, blah, blah. And, I never thought about that, like ever. It, it never crossed my mind to, to be an artist type like that. Yeah. And then eventually you just started having more and more paintings and more and more feedback and it's just like, why not? So <laughs> uh, what, I, what I really liked about mosh paint though and the whole mindset was this was never in, intended to make money. This is a hobby that went public because my friends you know, mm -hmm. wanted, wanted me to do that because I think it, it was a necessity. So you know, with that all being said, um, Everything that I do up front here is mostly just giving back. I started talking to a few friends and artists about it and they're asking when when is it is it up? Like why haven't you done it yet? So, you know, all this feedback it was really helpful to you know, give me the thrive or, you know, whatever to want to do this. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it, it's really cool. It's, it's, it's starting to come full circle now, you know, being more than a year into this, getting a couple collabs under our belt, giving back all that. So it, it's, it's really cool. And I, I'm excited for the future as far as where, where can we get, where can I get mosh pay? Where can you get, bring the beat back? We're so young as far as this, you know, organizations and nonprofits mm -hmm. at this moment. So, you know, it, it sky's the limit, and you know, it I, it's it's kind of crazy that you can link with someone like Jason and know this is just going to work yeah. just through yeah. messaging <laughs> on Facebook, going back and forth. It's just like, yep, yeah, no, this guy gets it, and I know this is going to be cool. Let's do it. So, yeah. you know, it's 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 a great it starts with a great community, but it does take select views to do that extra mile to want to give back versus feeling like you have to give back kind of thing. So, tell me a little bit more about the steps of bring the beat back. Um, obviously, you're building kits and donating them out. Mm -hmm. What next? What What's the next step? What all goes into that? Kind of give us a feel of how, how that process starts sure. and how it even finishes or how it does it finish, you know? Are you continuing to work on? Mm -hmm. How does that go? Okay, so it all starts with the community and the community helping uh, our organization with uh, donations. And once we get those donations back in a playable condition, put them back out to the community. Uh, so that's really kind of like phase one of, of this or, of our mission, so to speak. Phase two then is to be able to not only supply the instruments to the students, but also supply them with the funds that they could use in a scholarship format. They, okay. they could use that to uh, get private lessons through local music academies and music stores and uh, lesson academies that are here in the Valley. Um, and uh, those would be partnerships that would be 
uh, had made ahead of time so that right, right. we could hopefully get uh, maybe discounted rates uh, for the students so the money could go a little further or maybe the music academy or lesson store could donate a little bit of their own. Match what you do. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so that's uh, phase two. Phase three is really what, what happens after that. What, what do we do once these students right, right. You got, have a skill set? You got an instrument, you got it in their hands, they're excited, now what? So we want to be able to provide them with different experiences or different opportunities to either meet people or to uh, to learn a little bit more about what they can do with, with the skill set. So getting together with a, a jazz drummer, getting together with a, a drummer uh, that might be a metal drummer or you know whatever the genre may be, so they could get just fine-tuned focus information about their craft and what it is they want to do with it and they can go out and then explore and you know sure. hopefully get involved in the music scene. Um, we also have some partnerships that are starting to develop with some local colleges who have recording uh, uh, capabilities. They've got recording studios and recording arts programs and so being able to have them go in to see that side of the music business. Even on the sound engineering, the sound side, engineering side and teach them the back end of that and what it could really turn into kind of thing. And you make a band and record. Sure. And that's awesome. So long story short, guys, uh, we're here to give back. We want your participation. That's what keeps us all going, the community and your donations. So we really appreciate you guys watching this film. Um, please check the descriptions and the links below for the donation links. Anything as far as they purchased head, we will deliver those, either Jason or I. And uh, we'll be happy to get those in your hands. If they need to be shipped, we can also ship them. That's not a problem. Um, other than that, um, we are happy to give you some progress reports mm -hmm. as this goes along. So me and Jason will stay in contact over next month or so as far as how these heads are moving and what did you get out of that. Mm -hmm. You know, the, uh, out of all those dollars, did we get a couple sets and a few kids, you know, so we want to show you guys what your donations are doing for us, you know, and it, it, it's a really cool feeling once you can get full circle, get the kid, get some donated money, and have it all work as it should versus just coming out of your pocket, you know what exactly. I mean? That's the beautiful side of that is it can be done, it's just takes that, that community to, to give back in those donations. So um, with that being said, um, I thank you guys very much for watching. Please, please donate. Uh, check back with us for a little bit more updates. Jason, it was a pleasure working with, nice you. Working I, with you. I love your business. I love your, your outlook. I, I, and I, I love where, where this is all going. I think that you're going to do very well in the future. Well, thank you. And I really appreciate the opportunity to be able to, to meet with you and work with you. And uh, as you mentioned earlier, learn learn a new skill set myself. So right, right. Now uh, I can add that to my, my resume. Though. Right. You're, you've <laughs> now in, enhanced your artistry. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. We really appreciate it. We'll see you very soon.